Welcome to the Genie and NAC video series. The topic of this video will be rapid deployment. It will focus specifically on installing a virtual sensor in 10 minutes. Although not historically synonymous with NAC, with Genie and NAC rapid deployment is possible. Using a downloadable ISO image, a network sensor can be configured very quickly using near zero touch provisioning. Once the network sensor is linked to a cloud policy server, with no initial policy configuration required, it will detect all active nodes on the network within minutes. Before starting, be sure to complete the following prerequisites. Sign up for a free download at genians.com download, log in with the account and download the ISO image, have a virtual environment ready, in this case we will be using VM Workstation, and have the email account open as you'll start receiving notifications almost immediately. And remember, no network infrastructure changes are required. The network sensor can be installed in approximately 10 minutes. We'll be following four steps. First, create a new VM using the ISO image previously downloaded. Second, power on the VM and configure the sensor. Third, We'll be checking email and verifying that we have received notifications from the system. And last, we will log into the cloud policy server and view the dashboard. Before configuring the virtual sensor, let's take a baseline of our cloud policy server dashboard as well as the email inbox that alerts are scheduled to go to. Looking at the cloud policy server dashboard, zero nodes are presently detected. This is expected as the virtual sensor is not installed yet and therefore has not registered to the cloud policy server. This can be verified in the UI under system and sensor. Presently no sensors are registered. Additionally, the email inbox that alerts are scheduled to go to, which is the same email you signed up for the download on, is currently empty. No alerts have been seen. This is because the sensor is not yet active. Next, we will proceed with the virtual sensor installation. In VM Workstation, we're going to create a new virtual machine. We will select the ISO image previously downloaded. Select Linux. We will use primarily default settings for this test. We will change the network adapter from NAT to bridged. Finish the installation. Next we will power on the virtual machine. We will select two for sensor. Select I for install. Enter to reboot. Enter a password for the admin account. Select your location. Leave NTP server default. No for trunk port. This will be the IP address of the sensor. In this case, this will be a wireless network we are monitoring and we will assign an available IP address in that network. 
subnet mask, and default gateway. Google DNS for testing, and the cloud policy server name. Yes. A quick check for network connectivity will be performed. At this point, no additional configuration is required. Right now, the virtual machine sensor is connecting to the cloud policy server and is actively detecting nodes on the network. Next, we will check our inbox for notifications. Reviewing the inbox, we now see alerts have been sent by the sensor. An example of information included in the alerts are device platform information, node MAC address, node IP address, the IP of the sensor, and the time the node was detected. Next, we will take a look at the policy server dashboard. The policy server dashboard now shows 10 nodes detected. Various information is included in the dashboard for each node. For example, the actual platform contains additional information if you click on the platform link. That will take you to the Genians.com Device Platform Intelligence or DPI database. Included in this database is information such as business context with regards to the manufacturer, the manufacturer's homepage, acquisitions that may be related to the company, along with vulnerability information for the actual platform. Another example would be the HP printer. DPI information includes all the manufacturer information along with the image of the actual device, various fingerprinting methods that were used, as well as vulnerability information. Additional information is also available even while the sensor is in passive mode. For example, services running and what nodes are running which service is also available. Additionally, Open ports on the network and which nodes are communicating on those ports is also available. Back to the dashboard, here is a summary of all the nodes currently detected. Again, 10 minute installation, no network integration required, and in completely in a passive mode, this information was all able to be obtained. This concludes this installation of the Genie and NAC video series, again focused on rapid deployment for a virtual sensor installed in 10 minutes or less. Be sure to visit Genians.com for other videos, including rapid deployment of a physical sensor, device platform intelligence, and policy enforcement configuration.